Yeah, I look crazy. Mom bod for life. So today is the weekend. It's a Saturday and we have nothing to do. We're just at the house. It's me, Ensley, and David. No dogs, I'm not going out yet. Mom. What? Show me your new toys. Show me your new toys that we got yesterday. What is it? Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket. Go put it over there. Uh, so anyone can have sip on it? And also, so you're not playing by wires because that's not smart, okay? Because you don't want to get hurt, right? No. Right. I take but I want to show you guys Remember our Polly Pockets were so little? Check out this Polly Pocket. And it's super cool. And you can close it, turns into a purse. Super awesome. And then it can be a little bracelet. Can even do this in the little Polly Pocket. You guys remember the worms? Look at them now, look at them now. They're really big, like they should have been. I didn't know, but they grow in like two days. Which you guys probably have said that in the comments, but I didn't see it. <laughs> so yeah, they definitely worked. And I like it. So we got a new cage for Lizzie yesterday. Look, she loves it. Look, she's just chilling. Hey, Lizzie. Actually, it's a boy. We found out it's a boy like a couple days ago. We didn't know because she was so small. But this is a 20-gallon tank. I know it's not going to be big enough for her full size, but... It'll do for now because Walmart didn't have a full, well, they didn't have more than 20 gallons. So, that's, that will just have to do for now. Right, Lizzie? She's just chilling. She's so big. <laughs> so, I'm going to have you guys get ready with me while I update you on my health journey, I guess. I'm going to get ready because later on I'm going to go live on Twitch. I've been going live on Twitch, like, all the time. So, uh, if you go check out twitch.tv slash jleason, you'll see all my live streams. It saves it as soon as I'm done going live. So, I'm getting my makeup on because I want to be able to stream and not look like a hobo. Because that's how I feel when I don't have makeup on and I stream in a hoodie and my hair not done. So... That's what I'm going to do while I discuss to you guys about my health. So it's been a while since I gave you guys a health update. So basically, I, ha I got another opinion from a different neurologist. And she she's in Charlotte, which is three hours away. I didn't film it, but I probably should have. But I didn't. <laughs> and um, yeah, she basically, as soon as I got in there, she talked to me for like 45 minutes she said, you know, why are you in here at first? And I said, well, listen, I have a neck cracking issue. I have all these cysts. I have all these hemangiomas and I don't know what to do with them. The doctors are saying, you know, if you go paralyzed, go to the hospital. They don't really seem to care about anything that's happening. So she was like, wow, that all sounds very concerning. So I'm going to send you to get another MRI. So she wanted to repeat all my MRIs. And on this Monday, I'm getting a nerve study done. And a nerve study is when you go to the doctor and they basically, you go to like a neurologist or um, I think the neurologist does it. But anyways, um, you go to the neurologist and she takes like this probe. And this probe, she puts it on different parts of your body and it's gonna send like an electric shock basically it doesn't hurt but it does kind of shock you and um that tells her on like a graph machine how strong your nerve is at that particular location in your body so they'll do that to my legs and my arms and um see what nerves really aren't responding as good as they should and um yeah we'll see Along with, uh, you know, the new neurologist, she said, you know, I want you to go re redo your nerve study because my nerve study, my last one was back in December of 2020, which was a very long time ago. And I feel like that my symptoms have gotten worse since then. So it's really been bothering me. And she's like, well, let's do the nerve study. Let's repeat all the MRIs. 
So I had my MRIs repeated already. By the way, if you wanna know all the makeup I'm using, head out to my Amazon storefront, which is at the link below and it'll be there. You guys can just buy it straight from there because I don't feel like listing every single link. I went and got a cervical MRI done and a thoracic MRI the same day, uh, the repeated ones. And um, basically it showed that my um, cervical MRI showed at C3 in your neck, which is pretty high up, like where it's cracking. I have a hemangioma, which we knew that, which is a non-cancerous tumor. And um, then a little bit lower at C5, C6, and C7, I have de degenerative disc disease, and I also have disc bulge, which is not good and causes a lot of pain. So that probably explains my pain that's in the middle of my shoulder blades. So then I got, thor you know, I got the thoracic MRI done as well. And the thoracic MRI shows that T7, T8, which is like right, right where your ribs end at, the cyst in my spine, the cerex, but also on T7 and T9 in my spine, I had two more hemangiomas. So that's a total of three benign tumors in one cyst in my spine and a cyst in my sinus. So now you guys are probably thinking, well, now what? Now it's Sunday. No, it's, sorry, it's Saturday. And on Monday, I have to go get the nerve study done. The nerve study is gonna show if my nerves are working right in my body in different places, like I was explaining before. So that'll be a really good test to get done because I'm really curious to see if it shows that my left side weakness has gotten worse because I feel like my thumb is losing grip and it really sucks because anything I do with my left arm, I feel like my left arm is too heavy for my body. I feel like it's basically not attached to my body, which is really weird to hear, but it's very heavy. It gets tired really quick if I'm like doing my hair or do my makeup, especially washing my hair or like folding laundry. Doing housework is, has gotten really hard for me and it sucks because I get a lot of arm pain and head pain. Like I haven't been feeling like filming because I've been getting a lot of head pain and my head pain has been getting worse and worse over uh, the last couple days. And uh, yeah, basically I, by the end of the day, I've been bedridden, which sucks because I got stuff to do. I got the house to clean and to have a headache while you're trying to do all that and be a mom and take care of the kids and get supper ready is not fun. So yeah, life has been a little tough for me, but I'm sure I will be just fine. It's February right now. I get the nerve study done in two days and then I will see my doctor for a checkup in March. So then after she gets all the results, she told me I want to see the images. She's like, after you go get all your tests done, bring the CD-ROM to me, not just the report. Because she finds it weird that all these um, all these things are just popping up all over my body and no one knows where it's coming from or why. And then also, you know, my neck cracking issue just goes along with everything hand in hand, which I looked back on my CT myelogram scan, which a CT myelogram scan got so many different tests. Um, I got a CT myelogram scan back in, I think it was February or March, 2021. And uh, when I did, they basically put dye and epidural in your back and they do a scan immediately after they put that dye in the epidural. And then they do a CT scan real quick to see the inside of your spine glow and the bones glow and to see exactly where your problems are. So my neurologist after that told me that my cervical neck is fine and nothing popped up. Well, I looked back on those results because my new neurologist wants those results. And this is spondylosis, which basically is wear and tear um, in your spine that can cause bone spurs and disc bulge um, as you get older. So basically everyone can have it, but it's ba basically arthritis of the spine, but you have to within like, it's like multiple diseases 
classified in one, basically. Those spurs, arthritis, and disbulge. And now I have disbulge and I have bone spurs. So the CT myelogram scan showed that I had bone spurs and I had spondylosis and uh, my neurologist didn't care to tell me. And I just saw those results again. So now I can go tell my doctor, hey, this might be the problem why my neck hurts. But it still doesn't explain why. I mean, I don't think it would make the top of my, like the base of my neck crack the way it does. And the cracking is getting worse, you guys. Like, it is so freaking loud. Like, yesterday, David was like, was that your knuckle or was that your neck? I was like, that was my neck. He's like, dude, you have to get that fixed. And I'm like, well, what do I do? You tell me. But no, I found this great, great, great second opinion for a uh, neuro neurologist. So she's going to also refer me to someone else for the cyst in my spine which a neurosurgeon deals with, not a neurologist, because that's like a very touchy spot. So while I'm talking, I'm going to explain this iPad drawing of my spine that I made. <laughs> so um, don't laugh at me, y'all, but uh, I was like, I wanna see all my problems like in one spot where it shows it on your spine, you know, kind of like label it for each spot in your spine that I had results for. So um, I'll put it up right here. <laughs> so basically I looked at all the results that I had. And after I looked at all the results, I was like, all right, I'm gonna label it one by one. And you can see right here that I labeled everything. If you wanna pause this to read it, go ahead now because I can't remember from memory. But anyways, I um, labeled everything, what my problems are. So if y'all wanna try to figure out what's wrong with me, go ahead, there's a little case study. <laughs> I have neck cracking, I have back pain in the middle of my shoulder blade, and it's been happening since September 2020, and no one can figure it out. I have a cyst in my head, all the stuff I mentioned earlier. I didn't put the cyst in my head up here on this picture, but yeah. So now you guys got a good understanding of what exactly I have at which part of my spine. But that's basically a health update. Nothing really new, just um, repeated all my results and have the same results really, except for the disc bulge, which explains a lot because now I know why the middle of my back hurts because of that. So yeah, we'll see what she has to say. And she said in March, when I see her, we will come up with a plan to solve my issues. So she also wants me to get my lungs checked because she said, if you have cysts popping up all over your body, especially in your head and your spine, I want you to get your lungs checked to see if you have cysts on there because um, some different diseases, they have cysts pop up all over your body and there's like a lot of different diseases like that. So she's gonna check out a lot of different things. I'm really happy because she seemed very concerned. She seemed like she really wanted to solve my issue. So yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. But um, as of right now, I did a little light makeup. Didn't really do my eyebrows that much. Um, I should. I'm going to really quickly. But while I'm doing that, I'll explain what why I'm doing my makeup. Um, I'm starting to game on Twitch. And um, I've always been a gamer, if you guys knew that or not. Uh, probably you guys knew that about me. But I am a gamer. I've always been a gamer since I've been little. Since I've been really little. I've owned Game Boys. I've owned Nintendos. PlayStation, whatever you say, uh, play The Sims. So I got back into playing The Sims and I played The Sims on my PC. Well, not my PC, Jace's gaming PC, <laughs> because I tried to download it on my laptop and, and now the game's so big, you can't have it on a laptop anymore. So now I needed to switch over to Jace's PC and I've been streaming a lot. And I'm going to be streaming tonight, so I don't know if you guys will catch this, but if you don't catch my live streaming, go subscribe to my Twitch account, which I posted the link below right here in the description. And um, yeah, it'll give you a notification whenever I go live. And if you don't know what Twitch is, it's a gaming app streaming service where you stream, go live, and chat, kind of like TikTok at the same time. But it's more for gaming and gamers. It's just, I figured since I play games so much, like why not stream it 
and talk to you guys at the same time. Whoever does play games, you know I can connect with you guys on there. And we've been having lots of fun with the people that who have been on there so far. And it's not that flooded, so you guys can talk to me without everyone bombarding me. Like, my TikTok chat room. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. You guys go check it out. Okay, I'm done. Very light makeup. Like I said, if you want to know the makeup I use, uh, check out the Amazon link below. And um, yeah, there's a quick little health update for you guys. I will give you more of an update once um, I figure out what my nerve study test results are. And then after my doctor tells me what we're going to do about all this in March. And I'll talk to you guys later. Um, until the next one. Bye. Hey, y'all. Oh my God, on days like this, I feel horrible. I had to go get a nerve study done. And so I got my whole arm shocked today. My arm that I have like the most problems with on the left side. And then I also had a needle poked, an acupunct like an acupuncture needle. And she had to stick it in each, each muscle group. And then while it was in my arm, she had to be like flex push your elbow out, pull it back in while the needle's in your arm. So she did that at 10 different places on my arm. And then she did three more on my neck and my shoulder blade. And what she found out is that from the test results and the nerve study, I have a problem at C6 in my spine, which I told you guys that, you know, in my last update, uh, right before this. Yeah. So that's good. So that nerve study is going to be sent over to my new neurologist over in uh, Charlotte and she'll look it over and uh, we'll see what she says about all this um, I know that she says she wants me to get my lungs checked so uh, she might have to refer me to somewhere for that I mean I don't know how that goes but today you know no lie I feel like shit and um, don't really feel like doing much I had the nerve study done this morning and ever since I've been home I've had really bad nerve pain in my arm and in my back really bad so um i took ibuprofen you know like two hours ago it's not working so i think i'm gonna go grab some coffee a little cup and um try to get rid of this headache uh but i've been having a lot of double vision issues and um getting car sick a lot and today i'm having really bad double vision like a foggy foggy mind I can't like gather my thoughts right can't really talk right but I just want to give you guys a little update because you know I just filmed the health update for you yesterday but then I wanted to add to it since I went and got my nerve study done today so now you probably won't hear nothing from me about my health until March um but yeah that's it and um hope you guys are doing well but um until next time talk to you later